We are approaching Barondel Mesa, once known as a cradle of abundance throughout the galaxy. That was until the rabbits here stripped it of its natural resources and abandoned it to repeat their mistakes elsewhere. Fortunately, Mama the Mechanic is still on the planet. The one person in the galaxy who can outfit our ship with the ability to break through the shields protecting Curse's stronghold. Hmm. <gasps> well, we didn't see any Spark Hunters on Terra Flora. Perhaps they've given up. Oh, wait a second. Did you say the most devious of the Spark Hunters? Landing procedures interrupted. There is a massive electro-geomagnetic storm on the surface. Darkness tentacle at work. We will have to jump. Thankfully, we're just a few meters off the ground. Beepo, the storm has interfered with your eco-locative abilities. We are precisely 46.726 meters above the surface. The collision energy at that distance at your speed of impact is 73,266,368.07 joules. Huh? You will become flatter than a tortilla on an elephant's rocking chair. Well, there you go. Genie has clearly lost it. Follow me, everyone. Remember, feed to these together when landing. Goobers. It's okay. We're okay. You're <laughs> okay. Sorry, that was a miscalculation by our ship's AI. We are here on an urgent mission. Ah. Uh. Shops closed. You are Mama, correct? Walden and Master Mechanic? If our ship is not outfitted with the technology to penetrate the shields around Cursor's stronghold, our mission is sunk. Ha! Power's out, you know. Oh. Tell you what. One of our ship's teleport probes. Look, there's a note from Genie, too. Beepo, though we cannot communicate directly due to the storm, this probe can teleport everyone to the ship at any time. Or 
If you still think the ship is only a few meters off the ground, feel free to jump up. Miscalculation, huh? <laughs>
Oh yeah.
zoom, zoom. Solar cars are great, but what if you're in the middle of an impromptu drag race and there's an eclipse? No, thank you. Zoom, zoom. Yeah. Oh. Bingo.
Doki! Let's go!
オキトキズーム。
Zoom, zoom.
Let's go!
zoom, zoom. Wait a moment. Something's different about this darkness puddle. Analyzing now. We're going to need a different approach. To undo this one, enormous power of destruction will be necessary. <laughs> Bowser? Here's someone who knows all about fighting. Perhaps he takes it a bit too seriously, though. Uh, why don't we send in Luigi as well, just to make sure things don't get too out of hand? Ha <laughs> 
Fascinating. This is the first of several murals that tell the story of Mama, famed mechanic, and the warden here. It all started when the wild and free Mama made a pit stop here for some beef jerky during a ten-planet cross-galaxy road trip. wasn't looking for trouble, but when she saw rabbits being threatened by a mechanical monster, she came to the rescue. The rabbits here had actually invented the ruinous robot, along with other monstrosities that tore the planet apart.
Handle business. Thank you. 
supplies power to Mama's garage. It's obviously functioning abnormally. The overabundance of electricity generated here must be the cause of this freak storm. Time for a little mill work.
felt a kinship with the rabbits here, who were living life wild and free, like a solar-powered car without brakes. Yet this freedom was costly. Their recklessness reduced the once bountiful planet into desert. Could they have it both ways? Mama stuck around to show the rabbits how to make their ingenuity work for them versus against them. They were fascinated. The thought of not fleeing in terror from their own creations had somehow never occurred to them. Born with itchy feet for the open road, Mama fell in love with this place and made a decision. She used her entire life savings to open a garage and jerky hut, with help from her new thrill-seeking sidekicks. It wasn't easy, but Mama taught the rabbits here how to be responsible in mechanical engineering, robotics, and jerky making. The rabbits began to model themselves after her. It was then that they gave her the nickname Mama. began a new life here, but there was a problem. Without a way to fuel her new power grid, they couldn't rebuild. There was only one alternative, the battery that was fueling the wild and wicked mechanical marauder who was tearing up the planet just for kicks.
doing with that? Use that crane. Restore power. Search for it. Over and out. Great, but, uh, can we talk about my radio handle? I... That might be a first for us. Whoa! Up, 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 up. 
The rabbits busted up the mechanical mischief maker and used its power source to fuel their new power grid. Mama and the rabbits then hit full throttle to transform Barandel Mesa into a freedom loving Galaxy Riders paradise. Mama had civilized the one savage rabbits here, but now she needed them to go back to living like there was no tomorrow. They pulled everything they owned, used every ounce of ill-advised ingenuity to build Mecha Mama. Does it work?
I guess that'll do. <gasps> oh my! <laughs> oh, so cunning! <sighs> this place! Farewell! Ha! 
move, please. Move, please. <laughs> Okie dokie.
Excuse me! Let's go! to rebuild here were cut short by the arrival of the nastiest ne'er-do-wells in the known galaxy, Kursa's army. Knowing the other more populated planets were likely also in danger, Mama knew they had to act. But how?
Let's go! Let's go!
Job site has proudly worked over 12 minutes without accident or injury. That's a rabid record. With Curse's army tearing the galaxy apart, it was the rabbits who surprised Mama with a far-out plan of their own. Having returned to their roots, but having learned something vaguely resembling responsibility, they hit the open galaxy to help others.
reveals that this dark mess puddle is extremely formidable. Why don't we skip this one? After all, we don't have to remove every dark mess puddle, do we? Forget it. Ah, oh, great fighters! And you complement each other well, too! If anyone can defeat this dark mess puddle, it's you two. Let's go!
Rabbits leave Barondel Mesa to help fight against Cursor's minions meant rebuilding slowed to a trickle. But if Cursor thought it could stop the rebuild entirely, then it wasn't counting on Mama and her rabbits. Oh, my God. 
Eléctrico. Let's go! Ha! <laughs> 
Let's go! Oh, my God. 
Beepo, everyone! You endured the windmill! Given the intensity of the storm, I was concerned that your odds of success... Concerned? Why, Genie, if I didn't know better, I'd say you are downright panicked on our behalf. Are you broadening your emotional range? Hardly. And regardless, this isn't the time to focus on me. We should make contact with... Mama, here! <laughs> also, Beepo, mm -hmm. does anything about that transmission sound strange to you? Obviously, my keen leadership abilities and decisive work in the field has considerably brightened Mama's outlook. Though I agree that pimento cheese sandwiches are an odd choice given the warm weather. Hmm. To handle business. <laughs> Too much. No worries. <laughs> Tick tock. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs>
Let's go!
Lunch would be the one time rabbit work sites are safe, but egg salad related injuries are up 200%. Woohoo! 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 
That last transmission sounded fishy. Daphne. Now, now. Running away. <laughs> Take cover.
Rosalina! Cursor. That thing is Cursor. And yes, Rosalina is firmly under its control. This is not her doing, Rabbit Rosalina. But... Oh. Uh, but... But... I think I know how you feel, because I feel it too. But I also feel something else. While I am sad, I am also determined, optimistic even. I feel... I feel... You feel hope. You'll see. The Megabug, an abomination created partly from the mutated DNA of rabbits. It was thought to have been defeated. Yet, a fragment remained, floating aimlessly throughout the galaxy, merged with 
and powered by stellar debris, it mutated once more. Slowly, it gained sentience. Desiring to grow, it fed upon the life energies of the galaxy, eventually transforming into Kursa. One fateful day, some Lumas were playing with some rabbits who were passing by. Intrigued by the powerful energies emitted by the Luma's joy, Kursa was drawn to the Comet Observatory. Kursa approached them while masking its presence. Even Rosalina could not sense its arrival until it was too late. At the last possible moment, Rosalina put herself between the Lumas and Kursa in order to protect them. The rabbits and Lumas were saved, but something terrible happened. An enormous blast of energy. The rabbits and Lumas were flung far away. Where they were merged together, creating a new powerful species now known as Sparks. Rosalina had also merged with Cursa. Cursa was in control but felt Rosalina rebelling against the Union. To crush Rosalina's will once and for all, Cursa needs to gather sparks and absorb their energy. Then, it created an army made of corrupted rabbits and mind-controlled minions of Bowser, along with the spark hunters to lead them. Yet, Rosalina does not fear Cursa. From the very start, Rosalina knew she could count on her friends. She knew she could count on us. Oh, hope. Best not keep her waiting. Not exactly the firepower I was expecting, but but I trust you implicitly, Mama. We have just enough purified darkness energy to reach Curse's stronghold as well. Remember this. You need. Thank you, Mama. We will not forget it, we promise. Well then.
Let's go! storing my gold coins in pipes, brick blocks, hard-to-reach secret areas, etc. Scientists have been collecting data on how gravitational forces affect bobblehead physics for years. They're just doors with springs inside! Use your funding for something else! Woohoo! <laughs> 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 
Del Mesa what now? Huh? Oh.
Are you okay? Nonetheless, Mr. Gerspard, you can count on us to rescue your friends. <laughs>
Let's go!
have known you'd find something like that here. I mean, it is called the Danger Zone, but still. Start supplies, overcrowded museums, snooty gallery openings, you name it. Oh! Yeah. 
Oh, yeah!
You are too. <coughs> Let's go!
don't.
Okie dokie!
Let's go! Let's go!
Let's go!